hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today's look we're going to be creating this purple sunset kind of vibe and cut crease <laughs> so without further ado if you guys are interested in how i got this look then let's get straight to the tutorial so first things first i'm going to prime my eyelids i'm going in with my mac soft ochre paint pot and i'm applying this all over my lid all the way to my brow bone to neutralize the whole base and create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows to really stand out and adhere to and I'm going in with an Eeg Show crease brush to apply it over top. I do have a discount code for those brushes if you are interested I'll leave that linked down below. Next I'm taking a Zoeva blending brush and from my Chi Chi palette I'm taking the kind of yellow orangey shade and applying that through my crease and outer corner. I do want to smoke this look out quite a bit so I am dragging it out and extending it towards the tail of my brow as you guys can see. Just kind of flicking it out in a sort of wing shape and then taking it back through the crease. I'm just slowly building up that color till it's nice and vibrant and really pigmented. Next taking these two orange shades I'm going in on a petite crease brush from Zoeva and applying this to again my outer corner and crease area. So I'm first of all applying that to the outer V to really build up that pigment and dragging it out again like I did with the yellow. Just kind of extending it out towards the tail of the brow then deepening up that crease as well. And I do go back and forth between the yellow and the orange shades to create a nice seamless blend between the two colors. Next, taking this kind of brownie orange shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on a pencil brush, I'm going in and kind of mapping out the shape of the eye. So I'm creating a little V shape on the outer corner of the eye and dragging that through the crease towards my inner corner. So again, I'm starting slow with this color and building it up slowly just so that it's nice and easy to blend rather than having too much product and not enough room to blend it out. Then I go back in with the petite crease brush and some of those orange shades. I'm just blending out that brownie tone just so it's nice and seamlessly blended and there's no harsh lines. And I also go back in with some of that yellow shade as well to create a nice seamless blend between all the colors. To cut my crease, I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and using a lip brush from the Eeg Show brush set. set. <laughs> Um, and just cutting my crease and also extending it out towards the outer corner of my eye um, just kind of creating that elongated wing shape on the outer corner and I also go in and fill in that whole cut crease area so it's a nice blank white canvas so the eyeshadows really show up true to color and very pigmented next I'm taking this absolutely stunning duochrome eyeshadow from makeup geek in the shade black light it has the most stunning reflex of like pink and blue as well as purple so I'm going in and applying that with a precise shader brush from Zoeva along the cut crease area and outer corner and also bring it onto the lid as well however I'm not bringing it over the whole lid space I actually want to keep the very center of the lid blank because we're going in with a deeper purple shadow next so as you guys can see I've just left that very inner point of the lid or the very like center of the lid blank then I'm taking this beautiful shimmery purple shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and applying that again with the same precise shader brush from Zoeva along that lash line and center of the lid area then from my Chi Chi Pride palette I'm taking this absolutely stunning um, shimmery purple shadow and I'm using that as like a mediator between the two shadows so kind of like something to transition both together so I'm just putting that between the light purple and the deep purple shade and also dragging out that deep purple towards the uh, kind of tail of the eye the that wing bit I'm just going to want to have a bit of a smoky liner effect to this look and I want to create that sunset effect so it has that lighter shade transitioning into the darker shade I do go back and forth between black light that like shimmery purple shade from the Chi Chi palette and that deep purple shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette too just going back and forth between those purples to get the perfect transition and soft blend and like kind of like a soft gradient effect between the um the look or the purples next I'm taking this kind of ready brown shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm just going in and deepening up 
the cut crease area I felt it wasn't dark enough to my liking so I went back in and just along the edges went in with those like brownie red shades and just kind of smoked it out um and just defined that crease up a little bit more and I also went back in with a couple brown shades to smoke it out a little bit just so it wasn't too harsh so it was nice and smoky and I went back in with the orange shades and blended out those browns and some of the yellow as well to just like I said get a nice soft gradient effect so it all blends together smoothly and seamlessly once you've done that we're going to go in and curl our lashes and apply some mascara I'm going in with the argan wear mascara from physicians formula and just coating my lashes nice and black getting them ready for falsies and for the false lashes today, I'm going in with the Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me. I absolutely love this style. They're very elongated and cat eye -y, so they complement this look really well. Next, to highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going in with the Folklore Superstar Highlighting Palette and taking that lightest shade. It's kind of like a goldy um, shade, a very light gold. And I'm placing that, like I said, on my inner corner and brow bone for a bit of a pop. To line my waterline, I wanted something pink, so I actually went in with a lipstick, a pink lipstick, and then set it over top with this pink eyeshadow from the Chi Chi Pride palette. I used a eyeliner brush from the Eeg Show collection. However, if you guys do have quite sensitive eyes, like use a gel eyeliner or eye coal. I don't recommend using like a lipstick or eyeshadow just because it may aggravate your eyes, so do proceed with caution in that area. So to continue on with the bottom lash line, I'm taking these deep brown shades and just kind of wiggling that close to my bottom lash line to deepen it up. And to smoke it out, I'm taking some of these orange shades on a pencil brush and just smoking it out a little bit more. Just those three kind of orange and yellow shade, um, just to kind of mimic the lid space on the bottom lash line, just to tie it all together. Then I went in with this stunning, Stunning gold shimmery eyeshadow from the Chi Chi palette. It's like a yellow gold and I applied that on the very inner point of my bottom lash line like so. Then applied some bottom lash mascara and the eye look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. It was quite quick and simple but I did love how it turned out. You guys did request a sunset kind of makeup look so I thought I'd do something like this for you guys. If you have any more requests please let me know in the comment section below i love hearing from you guys hearing what you think if you did like it please let me know by leaving a big thumbs up that always helps me out otherwise i love you guys so so much have an amazing week and i'll see you very very soon Mwah. bye guys